we have uh, some problem with the emergency brake. Supposedly, if you fold this press on the pedal here, you hear a click. And after the click, you let it go, it will be latched. But now we don't hear the click, uh, it's not latched. So we are trying to see what is the problem. If you want to see what's inside, you can pull this out. You just try to pull this out. There are some clips here, but you just pull with the force. So this can be easily removed. The most difficult thing is to see what's inside. This is the one, it's fuse. It's blocked in the way. I'm going to show you how to remove this. But first I want some light. So I'm going to remove, there are three screws here. You just use a Philip uh, driver and use a small one on this side because there's no space here. You need to use a small one to get this out. So there are three screws and after three screws you can remove this panel somewhat. I don't want to remove all the thing because it connect with the brake release. And then next step is use a 10 millimeter socket. So there are three screws. There are two on this side. There's a one on this side. Once uh, I remove the other three, so this is dropped. But because of the wire, you have to remove the wire. So this uh, adapter, you need to press both the back and front to press this. And then I pull this out like this. So this is out. And there's another one on this side. You do the same similar thing. You can just press it and pull it out. We remove this panel, so just put on the side. Still, there's a brake uh, release as a uh, dangling here, so we, that's why we put the panel here. And then we uh, export this uh, sheet metal. There are so many bolts here. They are 10 millimeter. There are nine of them. After you remove the nine bolts, uh, you remove this uh, panel. You can see better. And then you can use a uh, 11 millimeter. Loosen the nuts here. And then once you loosen the nut, and then you can take the connector out. So this is a connector once you loosen the nuts. Connector to what? See this is a cable and connect to this box. We are trying to move this uh, fuse box, but in order to move it, you have to remove the connector. I suggest you label, and this is right lower, and there are four of them. Right lower, and then right upper, so when you uh, put them back, you know which one is which. We'll lo label all four of them and take all four of this uh, connector out. Of course, uh, there are more connectors. You need to remove those screws. You need to take this connector out. So this connector out. There's a, one small connector on the back. It's hard to see, but you remove that one, then this uh, fuel box can come off. And then after that, you can get at the emergency brake. Brake. Once this is removed, you can see the emergency brake foot pedal assembly. This is a pedal assembly. Okay. Once all the connectors are removed, including this small one and this one, the fuse box can be removed. And once the fuse box is removed, you can see what looks like inside. The way it works. Let me press this so you can see it. Once you depress this, this is pulling this cable. This cable will connect to the rear wheel so you will have a, a brake effect. And then on the very top, it's hard to see, there's a half circle like this. And here's emergency brake release. Once you press this, this will go like this way. And there's a tease along this way. It will make a, a clicking sound. There are three screws. The very back two are easily accessed with a, just a, a regular socket. But this one is a blocked by this, so you have to use this kind of a wrench. There's a small gap and put this in and then just uh, loosen this. So now this whole thing is, is loose, is held by two things. One is this cable and one is on the top, the release. So push this to the side, see, it's very easy. Just on this side, there's a, a opening. So you just push the this out. And then once you push it out, you can take this out. Once this is out, then now you can try to disconnect this. Wow, so this panel will come off. But this is still connected to inside. 
at the other end you just uh, pull this off the other end is this way and then and you can wiggle this assembly out with the cable still attached you actually can take this out and you can see how it works this cable is uh, pulling this way when you depress the foot pedal it will go this way and when this rotate this way if you look at this see there's a tease and there's a release and I'm going to release it and show you how this is done so this is the release cable will pull this way and now when, when it's pulled this way it will move this lever away and this will be released and see it released so that's how it works I found that what is the problem here every time this cable stretch too much when it's released this is not pulled back so if this were pulled back and I, as you can see the the teeth are fine it just uh, the cable wasn't pulled back and I'm trying to find a way to resolve that problem this is the, the, the brake release this knot is supposed to be go all the way here but look you know when I release it it doesn't it stay here it doesn't go further so I'm going to lubricate here a little bit both on the top and also under the car the cable so the cable can retreat easily okay and then I'm going to just put everything back this bolt it's a behind this. It's very hard to get it out, and th therefore you have to have a this kind of a 10 millimeter wrench. Put it in. It takes some time, but eventually this board can be out. The most important lesson is before you take this apart, maybe reach under the car and pull the cable. See whether at least fix the problem one time. If it fix, then maybe you look in this direction rather than taking all the time and effort to this apart. Taking this apart is not as easy. I don't really know many swear words. If I, I knew it, you would have heard it. I'm going to show you how the rear drum works. Before you take the wheel off, you should uh, release the emergency brake inside and then try to pull the cable, see there's a cable here, try to pull the cable under it towards the back and then use the vise under it to hold it so that this section of the cable is loose and then you can use a, a hammer, just hammer this hub and try to get it up and most time because there's an adjuster inside it may not come off if it doesn't come off see this is a rubber plug you take the rubber plug out use a, a screwdriver like this put it in the slot in the back it's hard to see I will show you later on uh, from inside how this works so you try to push this downward this is a passenger side push this uh, downward so it, it adjusts it's loose I'm going to show you what's inside I'm going to put the screwdriver inside you see it, what it does this is called a star screw it, it, will, it will turn I pry this and the, the shoe will try to open see open this will turn see this mechanism will turn this star screw it will change it so it's automatic try to we'll try see it try to turn it press it and release and press it release you see when you press this lever go this way and press the shoe outward this way that brick assembly pedal is fine I took it off not necessary so I learned my lesson so next time if you want to try this instead of take disassemble the pedal assembly instead put this uh, cable there's a cable you pull it and after you pull it you can latch the pedal then it's not the assembly which has a problem but inside it's on the back that has the problem the way to take this off is you take the wheel off and then in order to get the hub out you have to use a hammer most time still pretty hard to do it there's a rubber plug here you need to unplug and then from this side use a flat screwdriver try to pry this star screw see from this end I can actually pry this star screw and so that this adjuster will adjust the diameter of the shoe this is the shoe if the shoe is very tight against the hub the wheel will stop turning and if you 
press the pedal, the cable will be tightened. A few lever, this will change. It will make the shoe bigger. When it's bigger, stop the hub from running. Uh, our problem here is just lubrication. So I used the DW40 to lubricate this. A little bit here, a little bit here. It looks like it fixed the problem. 